So it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, isn't it? Everywhere you go, all you can see is sparkly lights and Christmas cheer. At your workplace, you might have a secret Santa arrangement where you surprise random people with a small gift for a laugh. In the streets, every shop window and every house is decorated with sparkly lights and flashing Santa ornaments. People are wearing tinsel in their hair and round their neck and going clubbing in their sexy Santa costumes. Just the other day, driving through Clevedon, I was behind a badass looking Santa Claus on a motorbike. He was waving at all the kids and everyone was smiling. It was actually quite awesome. But what if you're not one to celebrate Christmas? You can't escape the hype unless you lock yourself away for a month. If it all gets too much for you and you try to opt out politely, you'd be branded a Scrooge. Bah humbug. Maybe you are a Scrooge and you should just join in with the happy people. Or maybe you have your own reasons for wanting to opt out. Reasons that you'd rather forget about. And it could be hard at this time of year, with all the pressure to be merry and bright, to buy really nice presents for everyone in your family and everyone in your partner's family and work colleagues you barely know, having to cook a massive roast for 20 people in a house with only 12 chairs. Some people don't have a big house with four grandparents, a log fire and a stocking full of wonderful presents to look forward to on Christmas morning. Some people don't have anything and spend Christmas on their own. Whatever you're doing on the 25th of December this year, spare some love for someone else for a change. The little old lady who lives in the flat below you, pop in for a chat with a Terry's chocolate orange and a cup of tea before you go and see your family in the next village. Or buy a hot chocolate and marshmallow drink for a random homeless person and wish them a nice day. I find Christmas extremely stressful for lots of different reasons but I would never be a Scrooge and ruin it for anyone else. I don't care that I'm not getting a massive stocking from Santa or an iPad or a new car. I don't have to dress up in red and white and I certainly don't have to like the cheesy pop chart remakes of the Christmas carols that get played to death on KISS FM. But I can and will embrace this and every opportunity to spare some love for everyone I encounter in life. Merry Christmas, bar humbug or have an insanely mental 25th of December. I love you all. <laughs>